Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me here in Sydney, Australia. As you can see, I've got the Sydney Opera House behind me and I've got my mum as the cinematographer today. We just had a beautiful walk around Circular Quay and you know, it's really amazing. This morning when I was thinking about the Opera House, I was thinking, was it designed in the 50s or 60s? And I think I got it right because as we were walking around Circular Quay, they have these really old pictures of Sydney back in the day and there was a picture I'll try and edit that into the start of this video there was a picture of the Sydney Opera House under construction and it was 1966 the date was actually written there and I was so happy to see that because I didn't have time to look up Wikipedia I've been running around doing all kinds of things and yeah so how amazing it was the 60s and it was designed by Jan Utzen he's a Danish designer who basically he won a competition they put that I think it's called Benelong Point. They put that up for a competition, but who can design the best opera house? And he came up with this wonderful sort of eggshell kind of design, but where it's situated, it actually looks like sails coming out of the water, doesn't it? And um, it's one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. So I thought I'd share this lovely location with all of you. But back to Saturn Retrograde. I really just wanted to talk about Saturn Retrograde today. Um, I apologize, I'm a little bit late with this video because Saturn Retrograde already started, I think it was on the 30th of April. I'll just check my notes in a moment. But it's, sat, it's 30th April, it began, it goes till about 18 September. And what I'm gonna do is in the description below, I'm gonna put a little write up for every single moon sign. So I won't do the, um, my ideas on all the moon signs in this video. You can click on the description below and it will all be written there. So you can have a look at that and I'll possibly do an Instagram post um, with all the little breakdown as well. So yeah, Saturn retrograde is on. So what does that mean for all of us? Now, every time I've observed Saturn retrograde, I do notice that my life goes a little bit slower. And those of you who are self-employed will also notice this. I have a client who, he's got quite prominent Saturn in his chart and he told me, and I think I've mentioned this to you guys before as well, that um, from April to September last year, he noticed a dip in his business. And I noticed that things go a little bit slower as well. Uh, and some of you out there might also be noticing that things just go a bit more slowly. You know, you really want to press ahead, you really want to get ahead with your plans, which is a very Mars-like feel. You've got things you want to do and you're itching to do them, but you feel there's something slightly holding you back. And that something slightly holding you back could well be Saturn in retrograde. So if your chart is quite a Saturn-based chart, bless you, then, um, you know, you might notice that, yeah, that, that Saturn is kind of just putting the brakes on a little bit, right? And, and Mars is the accelerator pedal and Saturn is the brakes. So you might be feeling that. Now, if I'm going to check my notes i put together some quick notes on the iPad here. So I'm just going to double check that. 30th April, yes, 2019 to 18 September 2019. And there are some people who aren't so affected by this. So if you are a Libra moon, a Cancer moon, an Aquarius moon, then you're not going to feel this too much, possibly. Um, because Saturn will be actively trying to help you manifest and materialize at this time. So the Libra moon people have um, Saturn third from the moon, Cancer moon people sixth from the moon, and Aquarius moon people eleventh. Right? When Saturn is in three, six, or eleven, he's actively helping you build the next platform of your life up. He's going to be helping you materialize and manifest um, basically a new platform in your life or what it is that you need to then help you get through that next portion that he, he moves through. So, yeah, so basically the overview of this is that things might be a bit slower. You know, you might have to cut down on expansion plans at this time. I know I've certainly had to cut back on some of my expansion plans this time. When I came to Sydney, I was thinking I want to do two videos per week and I'm now thinking, well, do you know what? I'll stick with the one video per week. I'll stick with masters and monthlies. That's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I think I also said on the channel that I want to, to start a book or get a, to get a book out next year, but I'm putting that on hold as well. Um, so basically I've had quite a lot of readings come in and I've been really busy doing readings for you guys and I've been loving doing the readings. So thank you to everybody who's booked me. I've had an absolute ball working with you guys and 
I mean, I'm just blown away by the quality of the people that are coming in and, you know, just asking for my take on their stars. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. I love doing this work. So thank you guys so much. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is a song that has been on my Spotify playlist. And I've been listening to it and I've been thinking the lyrics in that song are just so... Ooh, that's quite an interesting it's a helicopter. There we go. It's, it's all going on today. Um, there's this song that's been on my Spotify playlist and basically the lyrics in that song just feel very satin Kathy to me. So I'm going to share the lyrics with you and then I'm going to put a link to the song below so you can check that song out. So if you're looking for inspiration for your Spotify playlist, this might be a song you might enjoy. So the lyrics are this. He sings, don't chase for strings that will leave you stranded, reaching for higher ground. Because we're all reaching for higher ground at this time, aren't we? You know, we're all trying to manifest the next thing, but there's this little something holding us back and I think it's Saturn. So, um, but it's with reason and wisdom. Saturn's always, it, you know, we've got to go with the delay sometimes and I'm learning this in my life and I'm valuing the delay right I'm not pushing against it anymore it says here when your reality rushes in I hope you can take what you're given when your world unfolds and shows you the road to your destiny show them who you are it will it make you feel proud or leave you questioning your identity wow will you know will this time leave you questioning your identity and there are people out there going through this and when I consult with some of you doing readings yeah it is we're looking at destiny we're looking at you know when you show them what you are will it make you feel proud or leave you questioning your identity these lines are just so good and then the chorus just goes over and over again it says all that you've chased and put your faith in may not be real at all it says it again all that you've chased and put your full faith in may not be real at all and that's why I'm thinking of, I'm just going to put this away. That's why I'm thinking of calling this episode something like Chasing Maya or Chasing Illusions because you've got Saturn kind of manifesting and materializing and then Ketu is the other hand kind of going, well, is this real? Is this me? Is this who I am? Is this what I want to be? And, and, and why are we doing what we're doing? And, you know, it's this, it's this fascinating time. So... Some of you, as I say, will be pressing ahead and building your future and building the next platform. And some of us will be feeling, and I'm in this category, feeling a bit of delay, feeling a bit of, oh, I really want to get ahead, but you know, and, and we can use this time to strategize, to organize, and as Abraham Hicks says, to get ready to be ready to be ready, right? You gotta keep you, you gotta keep being ready. And you know, it could be a time where you're polishing your skills, you're perfecting your craft, you're getting better and better and better at what you do. Because remember, Saturn gives us a delay, but it makes us time rich. And it means when we're time rich we can get really good at something. We can really master some area of our lives. So guys, I uh, can see the sun is setting and I think it's time to wrap up, but I'm so glad that you've joined me for this video. And, and do look at the description below because that's where I'm gonna have your little breakdown. Um, but this, this, this next few months, I think there's gonna, for me, it's gonna be masters and monthlies. That's really what I'm gonna be focusing on. And again, that's kind of, it, masters series is bringing up the past. And Saturn Ketu is all about the past. So um, it suits my energy right now to be, to be looking at all that kind of thing. So I wanna thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.